you may pause the video and try this problem by yourself first. So we have two lines, lines L and K. And uh, let me move this a little bit. And they are perpendicular to each other. That means if we know the slope for L, then slope for line K will be just negative reciprocal. We could get the slope for L because Y intercept is zero, zero. And it's gonna go up one, two, three units because it's, it's hitting four comma three. So we went, we went up three and then right four. So, so slope for line L must be rise over run like that. That means slope for line K should be negative reciprocal because they are perpendicular to each other. So it should be negative four over three. So that's the slope for line K. Now we do know a point for line K as well because they share four comma three. So it's gonna go through four comma three and we were told to find the x-coordinate of point P. Point P is the x-intercept for line K. So P is gonna have some kind of x-value here. That's what we, what we need to find. And then y-value will be zero. Okay, so let's find it. We have to find the equation first. Let's see, we could use point slope form. y minus y1 equals slope times x minus x1. Or you could use the, uh, what is it, slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b form to find the equation. It doesn't really matter which one you use, okay? So let me get, move, let me move this a little bit over. Okay, which one should we use? I don't know, what the heck, we just use the first one. It doesn't really matter, okay? So we go, we go y minus, y1 is the point right there, y value, so y minus three is equal to slope for line k is negative four over three times x minus x1 is four. Now that's the equation for line k. So in order to find x coordinate of p, we put, we put zero for y, correct? Because we need to find what that x is. So let's plug zero there. So it's gonna be negative three, zero minus three is equal to negative four over three times x minus four. Okay, let me move that up, up, all right. So in order to get rid of the negative four over three, I'm gonna multiply by negative three over four on both sides. So multiply this by negative, let me use different color, negative three over four like that. Okay, then these uh, three and fours cancel, negative, negative cancels. On the right side, I have x minus four is equal to, now multiply, that's gonna be positive nine over four. And all I need is plus four. So x should equal to nine over four plus four, which will equal to, let me see, four is what over four? 16 over four. So x value should be 25 over four. What is that? That's uh, 6.25, yes, so answer should be D.